Hey, I'm Anna Trickwell. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Roly Lumi Keys Studio Edition and Logic Pro to show off the awesome capabilities when it comes to MPE compatibility. MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. It's a method of using MIDI that allows multidimensional controllers to control multiple parameters such as pitch bend, velocity, aftertouch and lift of every single note when using MPE compatible software. Today I'll be using Lumi Keys Studio Edition. Lumi SE is the world's first controller with pitch bend and polyphonic aftertouch per key. Suddenly there's a whole new world of possibilities on a keyboard design that's already familiar. First things first, let's set up an account or log in if you have one. Download Roly Connect, download Dashboard and download Roly Studio. And this includes Roly Studio Player and Roly Studio Drums. Before we start, let's go to Dashboard and check if there's a firmware update. You should always update firmware first. So the current factory firmware on the Lumi SE doesn't include pitch bend. If you click update, you'll download that new firmware and you'll get that pitch bend functionality. Download takes less than a minute and then you're good to go. Looks like my firmware is already up to date, so let's go. So let's do a quick tour of the Roly dashboard. In here, you can get your Lumi key settings exactly how you want them. And the beauty of this is that it's completely personal to you. So you can change strike sensitivity. This is the velocity at which you're hitting each note. You can change pressure sensitivity, lift sensitivity, which is when you lift your finger off each note. Or you can select fixed velocity so the note will be played at the same velocity no matter how hard you strike each note. So this is without fixed velocity switched on. And this is with fixed velocity switched on. Personally, I prefer it without fixed velocity because I like more dynamic playing. You can change the keybed state, the key, the scale, the colours, completely personalise it to how you want it to look. So if we just skip through the modes, this is mode 1. Right now for mode 1 I have pressure enabled and pitch bend enabled. For mode 2 right now, I don't have pitch bend enabled or pressure enabled. So there's no change if I push into the keys and there's no pitch bend if I wiggle my finger on the note. For me, when it's on this standard kind of piano looking mode, I don't like to have pitch bend enabled because I like to play piano when it looks like a piano. And when it's on stage mode, I like to have pitch bend enabled and pressure enabled because it looks fun and it sounds fun. If we go back to Roly Connect, we can open Roly Studio Player as a standalone application if we're just working out an arrangement or having a jam, or we can host Roly Studio Player as a plugin in our DAW of choice. My favorite DAW is Logic Pro. So let's open Logic. We can open a project pre-selecting Roly Studio Player as a plugin, or we can just open a blank project, go to Track, New Software Instrument, and select the plugin as Roly Studio Player. My favorite part of this is the light assisted composition. It's one of the best aspects of this unique hardware software integration. Light and visual cues can help you compose as much as you want them to. So you can just pick a key, pick a scale and dive straight in. Right, so let's go for A minor. And I wanna choose a sound that is from Cypher 2 Fundamentals, analog, bright and lush. Let's try a different one now. Uh, G, ooh, something spicy, blues, mm, acoustic, harp. <sighs> Let's go to the octave above. The Smart Chords feature enables you to work with complex chords whilst you're on your way to being a prolific keys player. Or it just helps you to figure out great chord progressions really quickly. Either way, you don't need to be a music theory master to create a great piece of music on the keys. So I'm gonna stick with this harp sound and I'm gonna select standard D major. So all of the notes that are currently lit up on the Lumi keys are within the scale of D major. So let's try out these smart chords. I've selected triads across the board. So every note that I play within the scale is going to produce a triad, a full cut.
Now let's go for a mixture of sevenths and ninths within the scale of G minor. Let's add some bass. That is a strong pop chord progression right there. Now I'm going to choose the sound and adjust the macros and the effects so that I can get something that's really unique to me. Cool, so this one is called the Saw Tribute Pad. And I'm using the Smart Chords function so that it's giving me that nice ninth on that G. I'm just going to play with this sound a little bit. So I'm adjusting the tremolo speed and the amount to the exact amount that I want it. I already feel like this sound is really bright, so I could make it brighter. But I like that hint of the noise in the background, so I'm going to increase that. And the audio effects. Let's see what the multi-layer arpeggiator sounds like on top of this. So that sound feels really good to me now and I'm getting a lot of inspiration for top line melodies so we should move on before I get sucked in. Just a quick note, Rolly Studio Player takes over Lumi Keys so you can change your settings of your Lumi Keys by clicking the button in the bottom right. Lumi Keys has DNA connector technology which is the same as Rolly Blocks so you can have seamless hardware integration and connect up to four Lumis. There's also many more possibilities with Lightpad hardware control of Rolly Studio capabilities but that's a whole other video. All of these possibilities means that your setup can be more portable, more flexible and more customizable per project. Now I want to dive into Equator 2. Equator 2 is Rolly's revolutionary MPE synthesizer taken to the next level. You can create and sculpt any sound imaginable using a vast collection of contemporary synthesis techniques, effects and modulators. So limitless possibilities. Equator 2 has over 40 richly detailed multi-sampled instruments with over 180 articulations and variations. You can see I've already favorited some of these sounds. <laughs> In Equator 2, we can adjust 4D. That is pitch bend, when you're moving your finger left and right on the key to adjust the pitch. Velocity, how hard you strike each key. Aftertouch, how much pressure you're putting on each key. And lift, or note off, how fast you're taking your finger off each key. So we've got velocity here. I can change this curve by dragging this node. Note off. 
I like it to be a little bit less pronounced. Yeah, let's leave that. Equator 2 enables you to shape sounds with an expansive rack of effects, filters, and dynamics processors. So let's choose a new sound. Let's go to Hammond Jazz 2. Nice. Or Liquid Additive Organ. That sounds cool. And I'm just going to change a few of the macros. And change the envelope a little bit. Starting to sound a bit like a choir. Rooting. Let's check out the rooting section briefly here. The rooting view lets you specify how much of the signal from each generator you want to go through filter 1 and 2 and the effects sends. It's quite harsh this. I'm going to take it down an octave. Yeah, that's nice. That's the plucky bit at the beginning. Effects. <laughs> How different does it sound without chorus? I'm going to make a quick song idea. I'll have a sound for rhythm, bass, a lead line, and some percussion. Within Logic, I hit the shortcut Option, Command, and S four times to get these four software instrument tracks. One great thing about MPE in Logic is that you can look at the automation here. There's a drop down box, select a MIDI message type such as pitch bend, and then with each note you click on, you can see the MIDI message of that type on the selected notes MIDI channel. After recording my MIDI parts via the Lumi SE, I can go into the piano roll in Logic Pro and adjust any notes, change any notes that I might have got wrong, and change any parameters like note length and velocity. A quick way to bring up the piano roll in Logic is just to double click on the recorded MIDI file or to select the software instrument track and hit the shortcut Command 4. Lumi Keys works with all major DAWs and plugins, and with more and more third party software supporting MPE, it's never been easier to personalise your music and give it that unique expression. Just slot Lumi into your current setup and do more. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below to let us know what you think.